Hi, this is a video um, discussing the change of sign rule at GCSE um, and in order to show you how to use the change of sign rule we need to first discuss what a continuous graph is. Okay, so you should know the shapes of certain curved graphs now. Um, hopefully you would recognise that um, this parabola, for example, is a quadratic curve. Um, and what we say is that where this function cuts the x-axis, these two points are solutions of the graph. Um, and they're sometimes also known as roots. Now, these are really important in maths. They help us solve a variety of things. The same will also be true of any continuous graph. So, for example, hopefully you know the shape of a cubic graph. So, a cubic graph can have up to three roots or solutions when it's equal to zero. And, again, these solutions occur where the curve cuts the x-axis. OK. Not all graphs look like this. So for this graph, for example, it's called continuous because it's got no breaks in it. It's a smooth curve all the way through. It doesn't stop at any point. The same with this parabola here. The same would also be true of, for example, a quartic graph, which a quartic graph has a power of four as its highest power in. So that would be something that looks like a, a, a sort of W or an M shape, depending which way round you've got it. Um, that is also a continuous graph. And so on and so on if you have integer powers of X. So, for example, this equation here... involves integer powers of x. Whatever the graph looks like, and I don't know off the top of my head, I know that that graph's going to be continuous, so it's not going to have any jumps or any asymptotes or anything disconnecting the curve. OK. Now, a non-continuous graph, you should know a few of these by now. You should know that, for example, a reciprocal graph, so the graph of 1 over x, that looks like that and this graph is not continuous because of course as you travel down here the graph will carry on getting closer and closer and closer to the y-axis but it will never reach it because we can't divide by zero mass breaks when we divide by zero so there's a jump in the graph suddenly your graph goes from very close to zero to, uh, in the negative to very close to zero in the positive, from a very, 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 very small number to a massively large number. And there's a disconnect. There's a cut in the graph. So this graph is non-continuous. OK. Um, some graphs don't use the whole um, domain of the axes. So an exponential graph, for example... Um, which has got a power of x, will never go across the x-axis because there's no... Oh, sorry, go below it because there's no power of x that you can put in here that will give you a negative answer because, of course, negative powers are reciprocals. They are just very small. They become fractions. So this graph is also not useful for us if we want to use the change of sign rule. So what is the change of sign rule? Well, the change of sign rule states that if you've got a continuous graph, so let's just um, say so I've got this graph here. And I know two values to put into this function. And my first value gives me a negative result. And my second value gives me a positive result that because my sign has changed, my result has gone from negative to positive and I know that my graph is continuous, it must carry on from this point to this point, it must travel through the x-axis somewhere. 
and where it travels through the x-axis, where it's equal to zero, that is our solution, that's our root. So we can say that we know that there's a solution between this point and this point. So we have a range where there's a solution. And this really helps us when we have solutions that are very complex, that are, are not whole numbers, they're not nice numbers. Uh, there's something very, um, a very long decimal, for example. We can narrow down the range in which we know the solution occurs. OK, so at GCSE, what do we do to use the change of sign rule? Well, let me give you an example. My question is to show that there is a solution to this function between x is 2 and x is 3. OK, so I'm going to use the change of sign rule to show this. The first thing I need to do is to write this in function form. So I want to set it equal to 0. So we've got x squared minus 3x. Well, if I add 1 to both sides, we'll get it equal to 0. So I'm going to rewrite my equation as f of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 1. Now let's look at the form of the equation. It's a quadratic. So we're looking at a parabola. So we know that this is continuous. It's a check that we need to do. We know that's a continuous curve, so we know we can use the sign rule. There's no jumps or splits in it. OK. Now we've got to show that there's a solution in this range. So all I'm going to do is to substitute in these values. So the first one I'm going to look at is when x is 2. So f of 2 instead of f of x. So I'm going to substitute 2 in for every x. So I'm going to have 2 squared, which is 4, minus 3 lots of 2, which is 6, plus 1. Well, 4 minus 6 plus 1 is minus 1. So f of 2 is minus 1, which is less than 0, so it's negative. Next, I'm going to substitute in 3. So f of 3 3 squared is 9, minus 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 1. Well, that's going to give us positive 1. So f of 3 is bigger than 0. And now this is the bit that we need to write in our answer in order to get full marks in an exam. So we know that somewhere between 2 and 3... Because our answer goes from negative to positive and it's continuous, it must pass through the x-axis. So there must be a solution in that range. And we need to write that down as a sentence. So, because there's been a change of sign along a continuous curve, this shows... There must be a root, or you could put or solution, between x equals 2 and x equals 3. So you'll get your marks, full marks in an exam. Hopefully that makes sense. It's really straightforward, but you've got to make sure your curve is continuous, substitute your values in, get one that's negative, one that's positive, and then write this statement. Now have a go at the questions in the task.